Hello and welcome to Control System Lectures. I've received overwhelming positive feedback for my videos, which I'm blown away by and can't thank you all enough for motivating me to continue making free online videos. Seriously, thank you. Over the years I've been asked by many of you to provide a PDF of the drawings that I make. You know, something that you could print out and follow along with or use as a reference for your coursework. But rather than just take screenshots of all of my drawings, which really don't make sense without the words to go along with them, I'm building them into an ebook called The Fundamentals of Control Theory. With this book, I can add more detailed descriptions of each concept, along with the drawings that I think make the topic so accessible. Control theory is a fascinating subject, and through this book I hope to infect you with the same enthusiasm for it that I have. You can download the book by going to my creators page at Konos, and then by clicking on the updates link just under the page banner. You can see that one of the updates is for the first revision of the book, The Fundamentals of Control Theory, which you can get right now if you support my work. At the moment this is only the first chapter, but if you want to stick around for a few more minutes, I'll give you a little more information about what it contains. Okay, if you're still with me, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the contents of the book and the four goals I have for writing it. Goal number one, I want to provide an intuitive understanding of the material. There already exist several fantastic control system textbooks, and I don't think I'd be able to write a useful book that just duplicates what they have in the exact same formal format. Therefore, the language in my book is a little less formal. It's written as though we're having a conversation, and the mathematical proofs are a little more casual, However, I claim that what you'll learn from this book is just as useful as the existing textbooks because you'll gain an overall understanding of the problem and how to approach it. Also, at the end of each chapter, I provide a try this section where you can hone your skills. In some cases, I link to a comment section where you can share what you've created with other learners and see what they've come up with. You could also ask questions about the problem to the community. Number two, update the book frequently. One of the luxuries of making an ebook is that I can distribute updates quickly. I'm approaching this book more like a distribution of software, where bug fixes and minor layout changes can be updated and distributed as a point release, rather than a major new edition. This quick update and turnaround cycle makes my third goal possible. Number three, allow you guys, the readers, to participate in improving the book. It is your feedback and suggestions that will drive the quick point releases and help me create the most useful textbook possible. That's why I'm providing a simple ticketing system, where you can give me feedback on errors in calculations, vague or confusing explanations, or things that I just flat out missed. If I use your suggestions or fix the error you found, I will add your name to the chapter credits. That is, if you want me to. And lastly, number four. I hope this is one of the best features of the book. I want it to be really, really inexpensive. College textbooks aren't cheap, and if I want this book to help students all over the world, then it needs to be affordable. That's why I'm releasing it for free to anyone who supports my work through my creators page at Konos. For any amount of monthly support, even if it's just $1 a month, you will have access to the book and to all future updates. And by access, I mean you get to copy the PDF onto your computer. And then since I'm releasing it on a Creative Commons license, you can put it on your e-reader, you can print it out, you can use it in your presentations or lectures, and you can even share it with your friends and fellow students. If you decide you no longer want to support me, you still get to keep and use the book you already have. So theoretically, you could get the book for as little as $1. I think this is a good way of allowing people to decide how much they want to support me, while not excluding people who really want to learn control theory, but just can't afford the book. I'm releasing this book one section at a time, and I will add new content on a monthly schedule. This allows me to get the early chapters out there helping people right away, while being able to have your reactions and responses influence the later chapters. Now I've already written chapter one, and it's available to download from my page. This chapter describes the control problem, sets the stage for what we're trying to accomplish as control system engineers, and defines the terms that I'll use throughout the rest of the book. Now before you run off, I want to seriously, Thank you all for watching my YouTube videos for the last three years, and for all of the support and encouragement you've given me through your comments. I hope with the fundamentals of control theory, you gain a better intuition into this topic, and ultimately you become a more well-rounded engineer. Thanks for your support.